Hey guys, it's Naturally Renee back with another video. Today, as you can tell by the title, we'll be doing my moisture, my winter moisture routine. And we'll be trying to get some moisture back into my very, very, very dry hair. And stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hi guys, I am back from washing my hair. This is what it's looking like. It's curls are looking like vibe. We're just gonna get us a little moisturized. And I went to the store and I bought some shampoo, some cleansing shampoo and um, some more curling cream and moisturizer and some more oils. So we can get through this process today. Here's what my hair is looking like. Okay, and we are going to get started on this process. Today, I will be using the Cantu, I mean, Cantu, ooh, I'm sorry. Cream of Nature Coconut Milk um, Hydrating Curling Cream for Natural Hair. This is what it's looking like. And I just bought this, can y'all see that? There we go. This is, this is one of my favorites. And I also, use a little bit of this my Cantu I'm not really a big fan of Cantu everything I get like shampoo and conditioner wise is more on the cream of nature side but this has been with me my whole natural hair journey like because it's cheap and it's affordable and if you can't get this if you can't spend that extra two dollars to get this this don't come in clutch and you get a extra 25% go to Sally's and you're gonna get that extra 25% I'm telling you and what else I like to do for my moisturizing routine so I also like to use um, peppermint or tea tree oil on my hair I use this oil um, this is not the oil that I use for my hair growth, but I just put it on my hair just for um, extra moisture. And then um, to seal everything off after I'm done, I go in with shea butter. So what I'm going to do first is I'm gonna go in with my oil. Going with that. Mm. I'm more of a person that like to get everything in. So if you see me doing this about like two to three times, just know I'm trying to get everything in. And now I'm going in with my cream of nature curling cream. And again, I am doing the LCO method, which is, I think it's liquid um, cream and oil. And I, I have a backup thing of water because I know that my hair is going to dry up. But like, I don't need any liquid right now because my hair is dry. But somebody, some people do do leave-in cream and oil. Like, sometimes I like to do that. But it's like, eh. And I guess I'll just be doing that right now. I'm just gonna do the two stops. Yeah. Do it. Stuff everything. And then I am gonna go in with my shea butter. And 
what you do is see it is oil so what I like to do is I take my shea butter and I rub it in and it forms this kind of oil you take you basically use your body heat to make the shea butter into an oil so it won't be so thick and heavy on your hair and then all you're gonna do is twist it up me personally I like to do medium twist because that's how my twist outs last the longest We just go. This is my color update um video as well. I did dye my hair back in October. It is December now. Um. Yeah, I just and I recently did like do uh not the blowout that I just did on my hair because that was just basically a stretch. I guess. Yeah, that was just a stretch because that was not a blowout. But um, I did a blowout on my hair and I want to say that was September. September, I think. Yeah, I think it was September. I recently did that on my hair. Um, and I'm going to insert a picture of it right here. And... I mean, shoot. I'm not too worried about my hair getting heat damage because, I mean, let me, let me reverse that. Let me reverse that. Yes, I am. I am worried about heat damage, but it's not. I don't think it should be as serious as people make it seem like, oh, do this, do this, do this, and then you won't have heat damage. Like... No, so just take care of your hair. Learn when to leave the blow dryer and the flat iron alone. And your hair will be fine. But this is about how much shea butter um, I use for each twist. And that's just to keep everything moisturized. And so I can know that everything is sealed in how it's supposed to be sealed. Oh yeah, and so I dyed my hair up. I left like this much black, like that much black on my hair when I dyed it. And it's actually growing out pretty good for that to be like, what? Three months? Three months? Yeah. You gotta take care of your hair. It grow takes time, like, I don't like when I just like, I feel like the videos on YouTube, be, they be like, oh, do this, this, and this to your hair, and it'll grow overnight. Like, really, sis? You really gonna treat them like that? Like, what? Like, not shooting anybody down or whatever, but I'm just like, yo, if you gonna tell them, how you grew your hair at least be honest about it you know and y'all get the concept of what i'm doing so i'm just gonna go ahead and turn on my tv and finish this up and i'm gonna come back to y'all when i'm all my legs up here just about
Okay, so I am at the top part of my hair. And I decided, because like, when I usually do twist outs, my hair is so thick that like my hair tends to go over the part. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flat twist it this way and let the twist fall this way. So it can somewhat show. And Here is how my twists are looking. Okay, that wraps it up for this video. Make sure you guys like, comment, share, and subscribe. And stay tuned for more videos.